Well, hey, everybody, and welcome to this very special campfire edition of Let's Play by the Gamers. I am your host, Kylie Vernoff, and I play Susan Grimshaw in Red Dead Redemption 2. And I am so excited to introduce to you, together for the very first time, <laughs> my beloved camp girls. Oh. <laughs> so uh, here we have Sam Strelitz, who plays Mary Beth Gaskell. Ooh. We have Joe Armanox, who plays Kara Jones. And we have Mia Davis, who plays Tilly Jackson. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys all so much for being here. I'm so excited. Welcome. Thanks for having Happy us. Happy to be so here. To be here. Um, I think that I want to get right to the question that I hear the most mm -hmm. from fans, which is, um, are you guys really this close in real life? Oh. No. Yes. <laughs> That's the number one question. That's so funny. That is what I hear more than anybody, wow. yeah, than anything else on social media is, you guys have so much fun together. Are you really that close in real life? We get to be friends forever. Yeah. yeah. I feel like people see that on social media, though. I yeah. feel like we hang out often enough and post about it that, you know, I feel like you get kind of like insight into our actual lives, which is that we are friends in yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, I I've loved being a part of this game and everything that has come with it, but um, the, the whole gang is like a real family mm -hmm. to me, but particularly this friendship between the four of us yes. is more than I could have yeah. ever dreamed of from yeah. a job. And it uh, continues to evolve and uh, just, you know, bring me so much joy. So mm -hmm. I love you all. Mean oh, it. I love, Dana, I love you so yeah. much. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just, um, oh yeah, love, more love, more love, <laughs> more love. <laughs> Uh, I want to get a little background. Like my whole goal for this interview is just not to bore Joe, so I'm not going to ask. Good luck. To out. <laughs> no, I'm gonna sleep um, like in the corner. I know. Uh, so we don't need yeah, life okay. stories, but I, I also hear a lot from people that want to know uh, how we got into acting, right? So a lot, I think a lot of fans want to get into acting or. Um, getting to performance capture. And so let's talk a little bit about that. We'll start with you, Sam. So you're a, you're a Long Beach girl. Yeah, I'm a California native, Southern California native. Um, I actually recently, I've been going home a lot recently, kind of going uh, New York, LA a lot. And uh, I've been siphoning through all of my old notebooks and everything. And I found a note to myself when I was in elementary school. And it was like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, no. What did and it I was, say? it said, I wanted to be a singer. Like I want, and I remember, you know, I've been in, you know, choral and chamber choir and ensembles and everything ever since I was a little kid, and it's so funny because I remember it as always wanting to be an actor from, you know, the first time I saw Phantom of the Opera, you know, when mm -hmm. I was like six years old or something crazy, but then I read that and I was like, that's really crazy. I never, I guess I blocked that out because as far, you know, go as I could remember, I'd always wanted to be an actress, you know, I did every class that was ever offered to me, you know, middle school up, and then I did summer stocks and stuff like that. So I just really had that, had that um, desire. Yeah, I think I heard somewhere that you started begging your mom for an agent at oh my like God. age eight. Is that true? I love that. Yeah, I did. I, uh, every year for my birthday, she was like, what do you want? I was like, an agent. Oh my God. And she was like, Cool. So we bought a book, like how to get your kid into ch show business, at like you know, uh, Barnes and Nobles. May it rest in peace. And uh, no, they're still there. I well, they but are they? Okay. But are they? Um, so yeah, yeah. I was, I was pretty precocious. So what brought you to New York then? If you were in LA and you had roots there, what brought you here? I came here for school. I went to NYU and uh, I graduated, uh, and I kind of just stuck around and kind of you know wanted to see what acting as a professional actress looked like in the city. Mm -hmm. Did a lot of, you know, indie theater and uh, kind of, you know, started there and did every single medium that you could yeah. possibly think of in acting I ever think since. New York gives you that. I think New York yeah. gives you this sort of freedom to yeah. try a whole lot of things out with all this pressure. You know, you don't have that like landing a TV show right, right. away feeling that you have mm -hmm. in LA. At mm -hmm. least for me, that's, mm -hmm. that's true. Definitely. Yeah. There's a cool like anonymity to living in the city where you don't feel like everyone's on their hustle, so you don't feel diminished by, you know, not acting every single day and just, you know, being able to have other things that you're pursuing as well. Yeah, I was talking to someone else for this podcast and she was saying how uh, it, there may be more 
competition for things in l a in terms of amount of people going up for the same role but in new york everyone is so good so it doesn't even really hurt when you don't get it yeah you know that we're all there and we're all at the top of our game and we can just root for each other yeah in a way that when you see who gets the role because i've i've gone that i i used to not do it and then via visa like a you know suggestion by a friend of mine they were like have you ever looked online and seen who got the role that you went out for and I'm like no I haven't so I went down a rabbit hole oh. and <laughs> no, I was like, 20 years well, and, it, and it was actually really good and I was like wow if they wanted that person then they weren't really looking for exactly. me so whatever I was yep. bringing just wasn't the right yep. fit it's not really that I didn't do the best version of you know my character for that yep. role it just wasn't going to be it wasn't going to be me if it was going to be her exactly. which is yeah. kind of like it takes freeing. a lot of pressure off mm-hmm. of you yeah yeah it's really freeing we can't all be working all the time so it's great can root for each other now what about you because i heard that you started (laughs) in community theater with your mom yeah mom thanks mom (laughs) in north carolina yeah 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 she was doing like um some uh she was doing damn yankees and i was like three years old and i was like um excuse me why am i not the lead in this production and she was like what are you talking about she's like you want to be in the show and i was like uh yeah (laughs) <laughs> and she was like, okay, three. we'll take you to meet the director and you can audition like everybody else, mm. you little brat. Mm. And I was like, fine. So I went and sang happy birthday to this guy named Hall Parrish. It was like, I ended up doing like regional theater with him um, as I grew up. Like that built my like theater experience and career when I was That's a kid. really cool. Yeah, so that was. So he really knew you from yeah. like, toddlerdom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then so he let me in the show, and I don't. I have like, you know, you have like blips of like memories mm-hmm. when you're like a little tiny baby, and maybe I was like four or five actually, because three seems really young. Whatever. Who cares? Nobody. <laughs> um, I'm not fact checking that. Yeah. 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 So I'm then I, I just kept doing <laughs> regional theater throughout my childhood, and like you know. Yeah. Did that whole thing. I think I remember seeing some little like news clip of you basically <laughs> talking about how I, I, I don't remember exactly what yes, you said, Joe, but it was please. like keeping it real. It was like yeah. is this the greatest thing you've ever done and you're like, no. not really. Yeah, yeah. It was some local TV show because I, I was doing to kill a mockingbird and they were like, and yeah, and how has this experience been? Is it the greatest thing ever? And like, no. Yeah. Really. It's fine. I love that. I think I just didn't understand the question. That's my favorite, <laughs> that's my favorite clip of her. Yeah, that's a really it's good really It's just like <laughs> essence of Joe. It's like, this is okay. I sound like a little redneck, too. It's very strange. Oh. I sound like a little redneck, too. It's very weird. Oh, now you just sounded like like Karen. Take it back. A little bit like Karen. <laughs> Take it back. Okay, but Mia, you're Detroit. Yes. Born, bred, raised. And you didn't start acting until high school. Is that right? Mm-hmm. So I didn't want to be an actress at all. My brother was an actor, and I was just like, you do too much. (laughs) So I was like, I'm going to be a lawyer because they make a lot of money. Psych. (laughs) (laughs) Then I thought about, like, you wanted to be a lawyer. I only did that because it was, like, the thing to say. You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) what do you want to be? A lawyer, a doctor, a nurse. A veterinarian. All of those things. I was just like, I don't want to go to school for that long. Yeah, that's a really long time. And I didn't want to go to school for that long, so that's why I didn't become a lawyer. (laughs) <laughs> it's funny because didn't you, but you really pursued your education in acting. You went yeah. and studied the classics in London. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Yeah. So you were in yeah. school a long time, let's just say. No, not really. I just did four years. Okay. But if, like, emotionally, sure, it was forever. <laughs> it was forever. But, yes. um, yeah, I went to college, and then it was just like, okay, cool. In high school, I found the, like you said, like the itch for it. And it was, like, something that told me, like, you know, you can't, not that I can't do anything else, but I can act like anything else. But I am an artist, so yeah. my vessel should be used for art, and that's just, you know, that's what I do now. Yeah. I have to say that, I mean, the three of you and the rest of the cast in Red Dead are some of the best actors that I've ever encountered in my really long tenure in this business. I mean, they really cast the shit out of this thing. Yeah, I did. You are all artists. We are all artists, and we really, I think, every time we got out there, we got to to just bring our best because we knew that our scene partner, whoever it was that day, would you know be right there with mm-hmm. us, yeah. which is really, really yeah. good. <laughs> I completely agree. So I was thinking about my audition process and how, how, how I really had no idea what I was getting into, I mean, at all, because mm-hmm. I'd never played video games at all. And, um, and I've talked a little bit about this, but because Rockstar is so 
they hold everything so close, right? They don't want anything yeah. leaking. My audition scene had nothing to do with a Western <laughs> or anything. Yeah. And I think that my audition scene was probably written by casting or yeah. or someone and I think I was auditioning yeah, yeah that probably <laughs> the day before probably not yeah. oh, is really? it, it is right she knows I'm not yeah to, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 I mean nobody knows somebody yeah. somebody wrote it but it was not from the canon let's yeah. just say it was not yeah. from the canon right and I think my character was like this drunken mother abusing her teenage yeah. daughter really viciously which makes sense now mm -hmm. if you uh, if sounds you watch, about right <laughs> <laughs> watch um yeah, and I was I was like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what auditioning for a video game is, but I'm an actress, so I'm going to go act and just see what that would mean. And then I had the best time in that room. Yeah. Yeah. And and I found out later that I was reading with you that day. Yeah. That we read together. You were amazing. Ah, thank and you. And then you apologized to me before you left because you were like, I'm so sorry. I did? I yelled that doesn't at you sound like me. This oh. whole time. Because it was really abusive. <laughs> it was like, vicious. They take you to the limit so that they yeah. know that when you get whatever you are going to have, th they know that you can go there. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and yeah. stuff that's like dirty too. Yeah. You know, like they want to know that we're cool. It's like with what it. I remember. I'm like, well, that vocabulary was really, uh, <laughs> really went there. Yeah. You adults. Know? Yeah, very adults. Was yeah. it? I don't right remember enough. it being like dirty chops in the audition. No, but not yours. And some of the other <laughs> some of the other yours, characters. Dirty shops? My first, uh, so I, I had my initial audition, and then I had a callback, what I considered a callback, but maybe it was just they were rerunning auditions months after the fact. And my initial audition was just like, I was just like, dang, yeah. this is like really down and dirty. Like she was saying crazy things, you know, being very provocative. She was trying to like seduce somebody, but also kind of like you know, uh, be weird to her roommate, like have a weird competition with her female roommate. And um, was very I like remember actual lines from it, but I won't even go into that. And uh, and I just remember the funniest thing being like, I just remember thinking, wow, I must look really dumb right now. Cause they have you walk around the room, they're like, we just want to see your gait. Yeah, they want to see And I just imagine that I was oh, like, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, my whole thing 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 thing. was very weird. Well, yours what, was tell me your thing. Yeah. I don't think I walked anywhere. Yeah. I just walked in, and I did the thing. Don't burn yourself. We, and we it's flame. Ca Careful. Yeah, you walk. Yeah. I walked. Yeah. You did the whole dang thing. Everyone. You were. Have, you all have. I incredible. might have been drunk that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got the role. She there. went there. We could do I that. remember walking, but I definitely remember doing the scene. Mm. First of all, I didn't even know what rock star was. That's how green <laughs> no, I were. was. I was like, what? What is? Yeah. What is mo cap? I didn't know what it was. I didn't look up anything. Mm -mm. Probably should be saying this one. I look up stuff now. But then I didn't look up anything. <laughs> I don't think you would have been able to find any. I don't know I how mean, much they would have said. What does it mean to be, and what is rock star? Like, I just was like, whatever, this is a commercial. Let's just get it. <laughs> yeah. So I walk in, I get the, I get the sides, <clears throat> and I'm reading it. I'm like, what kind of commercial is this? <laughs> it was literally a scene that, that was like, be as vulnerable as possible. And I was like, is this for like they were, He was going to pin you out. Your like, what is this? Yeah. yeah, it was like my boyfriend was supposed to pimp me out or something. And oh, it was like he was supposed to what? Pimp her out. Oh, pimp, pimp me out. out. But I was like so submissive to him mm -hmm. that I just said yes mm -hmm. and like cried. I remember the first time I did it and then Adam was like, uh, do it again and like go deeper. Tony. Tony said that. Yeah. And then you were like the only person that took a moment and paused before you, yes. It was amazing because everybody else was like, okay, yes. Like she actually thought about it and was like, do I really want to, she made this huge life decision right in front of us. I'm getting chill bumps. Thank you. I that. love that you have all this insight into this process. I mean, what else did I do? What did they say when I left? <laughs> How did I look that day? I think you had like an orange shirt. <laughs> like, I did. <laughs> So then having all of that Talker. insight, what was it like for you to then go in and did you have to go in and audition or did they just know your work so well? Oh, Tony then? was amazing. He let me audition for like everything. Like, wow. wow. Yeah, and so I think Sam and I actually were supposed to have each other's roles, which is I think is always fun to think about. But because I definitely got the cooler one. I'm just kidding. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I did. Yeah, but like it was no, really interesting to yes, yeah. just <laughs> stress eat. Just stress eat while she says mean things. Stress. Wait, yeah, no. Yeah, it was really interesting to like, and also to come on set and go, you were so cool, you were so amazing, you know? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I really appreciated that myself. Yeah, you said that to some people, you. you didn't say it to everyone. Oh. 
<laughs> that is so not true. Not available on Google. Because, because Kylie's right. Everybody that was involved in this project, and you're talking about like over a thousand people. Yeah. I think they hired like, Rockstar hired like 1,200. Yeah, 1,200. Yeah. Everybody was exceptional. Actors, which really, I mean, that's amazing how mm -hmm. many yeah. how many union actors they employ and yeah. continue to employ. So for us to be in this position is like such an honor. Yeah, I feel like, absolutely. You know? yeah. It really is. Okay, so you must have had some sort of idea of what you were getting into, but I did not. I think you did not. And I, I, what I was told was when I went for the first day, I was told to wear comfortable undergarments. That is like yep. literally the only thing that I was told. So I had no idea I was wearing a motion capture nope. suit or what that 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 was. Yeah. But I do remember my first day pretty clearly um, because Rob was there and he was just so kind and mm. gentle. And there was like, because let's talk about these suits uh, that we wear. Let's skip it. Let's skip it. <laughs> let's just say um, everything. Everything shows. At, at literally every single thing. I enjoy your body you. is all. Oh. <laughs> I I thought. I, here's what I think about a motion capture suit. I think everybody thinks that they look awful, and everybody looks amazing. Everybody <laughs> looks great. <laughs> literally, I'd be like. Gosh, Jim Santangeli so told me he's like, I look at your Instagram, and you look like this beautiful girl, and then I see you on set, and you look like just a big doofus with this like all this stuff on. Oh my. And I was like, too Well, like, he's incorrect. <laughs> he's incorrect. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so I had no, I had no idea what I was getting no. at all. Um, and then the other thing is, I had no idea I'd be coming back. No. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We all didn't know if we no. were like fired or yeah. we were replaced. Oh, that was always. That was always. Yeah, I definitely thought I was fired after my first day. I knew what Rockstar <laughs> was. I've dated a lot of gamers, and I really was like, "We're doing GTA, guys." Obviously, especially with what they called the. Oh, Rockstar. you thought we were doing GTA? Well, because mm. on the audition, it was like they called it San Andres or something. I'm like. Nice try, folks. I know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> right. And I went in and I really wanted it because I love the challenge of doing something that surprises me in acting. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and to me, I'm like, doing a video game would just be like absurdly freaking cool. And so I really, really, really wanted it. And, you know, to what Joe said about us potentially playing each other's characters, my sides were definitely not Mary Beth friendly. I mean, they were <laughs> crazy. Hey, that, that didn't sound like Mary Beth. Beth. That, that was bonkers Beth bananas. And then my, my callback or my second round of auditions was just like, it just wasn't at all what you would imagine Mary Beth would be saying or doing. So I was like, oh, okay. So then when I got in, I walked on set, I, I had a feeling, you know, I knew I had seen, you know, mocap videos of other video games being, um, you know, uh, recorded and, you know, rendered and animated and stuff like that. So I had an idea. But the mocap suits are different across the board. Mm. I had no idea that we would be wearing. I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be basically a full body spank. Like, that's gonna be really flattering. And then you get there and you put it on, you're like, this is really not flattering. <laughs> it's like half of it's missing. <laughs> like, it's just like, all, all yeah, of there your, are all, all of your trouble cutouts. spots. Yeah, right? cutouts in the trouble spots where it doesn't squeeze and in. And you just get to know people real quick. Cause you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely real quick. You know, it's yeah. just, and the first day that I had on set, which all of you ladies were at, um, I was going through a really bad breakup, and I was just really. I, I, I remember this. I have a, I have a hard time compartmentalizing, compartmentalizing sometimes. You know, I try to like really get it together, but it's really difficult, as you probably all know. Um, and so, you know, as actors, we're very emotional, and we really like tag into those feelings. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. I'm a stone coat. Um, so <laughs> you're like, not, not me. But I just remember just being really like, you know, I was so excited for the job. I got on set. It was the old studio, so it was just like a very oh, yeah. different setting, mm -hmm. and the green room mm -hmm. was different, and the setup was different, and you were just there with everyone who works on everything. Yep. Yeah. And they had me kind of doing like little like menial things, like things that would probably happen like in between scenes, not real scenes. And I remember, you know, just being really quiet and introverted. And at the end of that day, walking out of the studio and coming back to Manhattan and thinking, "Well, that was fun. That was my <laughs> that was my try. You know, that was my go at being in a video game. I'll never see those people again. I sucked. You know. And then to what you know to uh, you know what you sort of mentioned before." Every time they asked you to come again to set and you got pages, I just got so excited, you know, not getting through all of the material that day yeah. because I knew that I had another day on set. And that to me just was 
like one of those little shining things that I could like look forward to in the exactly, future yeah. and that just became kind of a you know an ongoing yeah. <laughs> experience yeah. Yeah. yeah I I think there did come a time in my experience where I started to understand that I was like part of the mm. Vanderland gang mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so that probably I would get to continue on the journey but I think that that might have been a couple of years in what, yeah, uh, what about you? It was like a year before the game came out. And I was just like, yeah, I'm in it. <laughs> but before that, I was like, they could come here at any time. I don't know what's oh, going right. on. It was very nerve wracking yeah. because I felt like I had, yeah. did I say something? Did I leave my email open? Like, did somebody see yeah, something? Yeah. And then, because yeah. there was that big fiasco where they kept sending us to say like, oh, change your passwords or mm -hmm. like there's been a yeah. breach in the system. Yeah. And I'm like, was yeah. it me? I don't know. It could have been, I might've been drunk that day. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But it was always like, I would hit you up like, hey, did you? Yeah. They're from our special friends. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Did you They're get that same our phone calls email? So don't say anything else. Like, it yeah. was very yeah. scary. Well, there's no nuance to how they deal with that. I mean, there are like literally flyers all over the place, <laughs> and you have to swab into all of the rooms because, you know, Rockstar takes goes to great lengths to make sure that the player that the gamers that are playing the game have everything revealed in game yeah. and don't get information yeah. beforehand that would dictate how they feel about it which is amazing but at the same time you know I heard stories of people dressing up as FedEx workers or UPS workers and trying to show up at the studio to like get a look at you know what was going on inside so I feel like we got the opposite end of that where it was yeah. like don't you say a freaking word you know yeah. we didn't want to but at the same time we were like no, so I what's literally, happening? <laughs> I had a nightmare. What? I oh. had a nightmare one night that was so bad that I woke my husband up at like three in the morning and I was having a panic attack. And in my dream, I had run into some friends at a party and I had seen Roger mm. and I had said, oh, this is my friend Roger. We're working on the same <laughs> job together. But I didn't say video game. I didn't mm. say anything like that. And I, I woke up like in a sweat. I had to wake my husband up and I was so shaken and I didn't sleep the rest of the night and I was working the next day. And I remember telling Roger that story and our director was on set and I was like, I mean, even if I had said, I know Roger from another job, that wouldn't be a big deal. And he's like, it absolutely would. Yeah. yeah. I'm not allowed yeah. to do that. And I was like, <laughs> So it took us years to actually hang out. You know yeah, what I mean? we like, weren't allowed yeah. to follow Wait. each other on social. Yeah, we weren't we even couldn't allowed. Do yeah. anything. Yeah until it like, came out. Yeah. Those are my friends. And, and now I they can't them, stop and I want to hang us, out with them. So. Yeah, no. Yeah. And, and I, I can think say whatever I want. <laughs> that is such a joy that we can spend as much time <laughs> together as we want and we can talk about like how we know each other and and you know, that's yeah. fabulous. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask you guys. Um, first of all, did you all get to do robberies? Yes, I you am, definitely. Yeah. I have a stagecoach mission that some people have come across and some people have not come across where I'm basically the pawn, spoiler alert, I'm basically the pawn um, in kind of like uh, tricking some guys to like stop their stagecoach so that it can be robbed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's, that's, <laughs> that's your whole I robbery. Did that. There was wow. actually a scene between Roger and I that isn't in the game because they took a different turn for uh -huh. like what they wanted us to be. And it was it was like um, I was working a John, mm -hmm. but I wasn't. I was like setting him up, and Roger was supposed to come in and like you know rob him or whatever. But I remember that scene. And I was like, oh, okay. I remember that scene. That well, was, I think I was on together. set when you guys were shooting that. Yes, that yes. was. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay. And then it just when they switched us all around and kind of like changed our stories, it, that just never made it. But I did do one, but it, it's just not. In well, the let's game. let's That's talk about that. Interesting it, though. Yeah. What? Because Joe, you have a scene uh, in Valentine, when we first get to Valentine, where you're kind of doing the same thing. And they kept that. You, I know, so yeah. that's interesting mm -hmm. that, yeah, inter okay. Yeah, I, I remember what that, I think maybe my first understanding of when we come and rescue you from the foreman's, my initial understanding was that it was a John gone wrong. Yep, yep. Hmm. So let's talk about that, because that is a really interesting thing. I think that when I first started working with all of, you women, my understanding was that Susan was a madam yeah. mm -hmm. and that you were all working girls, yeah. that you were prostitutes. Yeah. Um, and I, I remember like you and I dying laughing one day when you were like, but Miss Grimshaw, I don't feel well. And I was like, I don't care, get to work. And you were like, get to work, you know. Yeah, I'm doing, yeah, your, like doing, doing the, your doing thing. The deed I don't care, in the room doing the deed. With yeah. The dude. Yeah. Um, in the tent. Yeah, in the tent. 
<laughs> but there okay. did come a time, like years in, when I realized that I was not seeing any mm -hmm. scenes referring to that, that I wasn't hearing any no. scenes about that. Yeah. And, uh, and it sort of, I think, I realized that things had shifted and that when I was telling you girls to get to work, it would be cleaning, yeah. it would yep. be yeah. sewing, yep. and it was like keeping the camp together. <laughs> yeah, darning a sock. <laughs> you know? yeah. I um, made this up in my head that we had somehow had an influence over that and I don't know if that's actually the case because it's so long ago. It's so long ago. I hope I'd so. like to think I that. would think I, hope I would so. think so. Because it's kind of a shame to have like a game and then have like we're all trying to represent and empower women now and then have this male dominated industry and then have them all be prostitutes. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 like, yeah. gotta miss them, you know, it'd be kind of a shame. I really I did it. feel that way. I felt like that they started seeing what First of all, what incredible actresses we were, mm -hmm. and how we were there to play, mm -hmm. and how much value we could add to missions. Yeah. Um, besides that old trope, yeah. and I really, I sort of have the same thing in my head. I don't know if it's true or not. That rock star really made a pivot with with the women, yeah. mm -hmm. in particular mm -hmm. the, the four of us. However, <laughs> like when I played the game, Susan has a campfire scene where she says, you know whores talking to a madam that never would have happened in my day so there's still like some flavor yeah mm -hmm. but but there's no whoring <laughs> right right yeah I love how you said that. <laughs> you say what you want. Tilly does her own thing at night. Yeah. <laughs> she, she looks no, up for herself. Made no wonder out. I can she partake into the camp. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, and, to, and you guys have that experience, right? You, I there think it's no... so much more interesting to make more complex, nuanced characters and to care more about their backstories and how they came across this gang and why they're outlaws and why they're kind of outside of the general society or different, yeah. you know, societies or communities that they come across in the towns. I think it gives more to the characters and, you know, um, and I also think that I, I think we would have had a very different experience with fans had it been that way. And so I'm so grateful that it wasn't that because yeah. I think it's really easy to pigeonhole women of a certain time that are doing kind of their own thing outside of regular society and to say, well, it's because she was a prostitute. You know, it's like yeah. right. that just it's immediately you forget. It. There's nothing yeah. wrong with it, but I feel like, I, I, again, I truly believe that how the fans interact with mm -hmm. us how much the female fans care about our personal mm -hmm. storylines mm -hmm. and what that sure. means to them mm -hmm. would have taken on a different um, flavor, so yeah. to speak. You know, yeah. and I think it, and yeah. and I'm I'm really grateful that regardless of whether or not it was us or Rockstar was like, this is not the story we need to tell about these women. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful that it happened. Yeah, yeah. I definitely Me think too. it was us, yeah. though. I mean, <laughs> I'm just it was saying us. because when you if I mean, you if you're with us, yeah, we. Although we can play a prostitute, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. I think our individual spirits are so much more yeah. than that that they could see that, like, ah, yeah. she's too big for to just be that in this game. Yeah. We need to make her story more than yeah. what it is. And I definitely think that they were like, yeah, yeah, let's Karen is a junk, but we we like Karen. We got <laughs> yeah. a story. You know what I mean? Like, yes. yeah. it was more yes. of like, let's show, let's showcase the artist, let's showcase mm -hmm. the art. Yeah. Yeah. And I did feel like our characters, I can speak for myself, but I also saw it in all of you, that uh, that we started getting our characters fleshed out more, that there was mm -hmm. more backstory, yeah. that there, you know, that, we, that was there cool. was more color and nuance that we yeah. got to play with. Um, so is there a scene for you, Mia, that you think really sort of, uh, sort of gives like a clear vision of who Tilly is, like reveals her character, one or two? I think it's the scene um, where I'm st I'm talking to Arthur and I and he's talking about him being he feels like he's a bad person, and I tell him you know you can change you're not a bad person it's just you make bad decisions, but you have the opportunity to change and I was like this is this Preach. is good, this is really good. <laughs> yeah. and it, it's a yes. it's a short kind of walk and talk and that's it mm -hmm. when he encounters me in the camp and then that's it but I was like oh. That's yeah, what that's, like that. that's her mm -hmm. core belief system mm -hmm. and she can give that. Like you to can him. make a bad decision, but you're not a bad person. You know what I mean? Yeah. You still have like to give yourself grace to be better. You know? I was like, Yeah, that's Yeah, that's, that's really beautiful. Through. And that is mm -hmm. a central theme to the game. Especially yeah. if you're playing with high honor. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about you? Well, I wanna talk about some of the scenes that didn't make it in the game, but I'm not sure what you can or can't yeah, say. Yeah, so I there is one there that I would love to talk about, but um, I don't want to do that, but like we had, 
we got a bunch of stuff. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. I think there's so much stuff happening with you and me, mm -hmm. and me and Penny, and we had a lot of stuff together. Um, with Arthur and I, I'm not sure. I think um, there was stuff with me and Micah as well that was really cool. <laughs> like I had like decided that Karen truly had like a crush on Micah and she like wasn't sure and that's why she didn't know how to be around him and like he was so mean to her and you know but yeah you can yeah, I'll come back also to that. Also deleted I, Sam scenes. might have. Well, I want to say right. that I want to say that in prepping for this for this talk today I was going back and really watching that scene just before your character wanders off. Mm. Um, oh yeah. You know there are some spoilers going on here so I think most people have played through but um where I'm talking about Molly and her fate and my responsibility for it, and you're screaming at me. Yeah. You are really letting me have it in a way that still sends chills through my spine. And I feel like for some reason, you seem to be the only character that all of a sudden Susan gets shaken up, that she really is responsible for what happened yeah. in that situation. But what I thought was so incredible and revealing about, about Karen in that moment is when I say she knew the rules, and she broke mm -hmm. the rules, mm -hmm. and you say she did not. She was in love. Yeah. And how you wouldn't know that Karen is necessarily driven by this, like, this, mm -hmm. this sort of pure understanding that when someone is in love, they they might make different decisions. There are no it, rules. There are no rules. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. It and still makes me angry that you killed her. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like getting mad about her. Yeah. <laughs> Fight. She did know the rules. She did. She <laughs> was in love. <laughs> um, but I loved that's that so moment, and you just slayed that. Mm. I remember just oh just watching you work that day as Penny, you slayed it. Do you remember Oof. Penny's? I'm sure yes, you guys let's are, talk about oh Penny O'Brien, who is not here, but who plays oh, Molly O'Shea. I love her. She, when, right before that all goes oh, down, oh. which you did brilliantly as well, but her, like, that build-up. Oh, yeah. That build-up. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, Gosh, yeah of was... calling Dutch, Dutch oh. to account for, for, for In front of everybody. Just in front, in front of, of everybody. everybody. That was a hard oh. scene to film, I felt, because it was like 49 million people. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm screaming, you know, when she gets shot. And I'm like, Ugh! you know, and they're like, okay, cool. So we're going to maybe quiet that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you can maybe ADR something in. But, like, yeah. we don't need you hysterical in the background. I'm like, but she would be. Right. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. like, cool. I'm going to totally not do the full. But yeah. I would. I Mary Beth absolutely God. would be. She would be beside herself. So it, it yeah. you know. Those large group scenes were tricky. Who a, they, tricky. a, they were the best days. They were the yes. best yeah. days yeah. because days, yeah. having everybody on set, I think yeah. I, I, I read something that Gabrielle Sawyer, who plays Javier, had said. He said that unlike any other job he's ever had in his career, every time he got a call sheet, mm. he just lit up like a yeah. Christmas yep. tree. Yeah. Like, oh, my yep. friend, my friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yep. Um, and when it was those big group scenes, they were the best days, but they were also the hardest. Yep. Because yeah. it's choreography at yeah. that point. Yes. I think yeah. um, I think one of the things, well, first of all, I want to hear about you. Is there a moment that sort of formulates Mary Beth for you? Yeah, I, I feel, well, she changed for me drastically from the beginning to where kind of we ended up, um, which was such a, like, such a surprise. And I just get all warm and fuzzy when I heard about what she, you know, her future in the game and yeah, that was just I like I, I just found it to be amazing and yeah. it kind of you know in retrospect kind of informed certain things about what she said and um, so I have a lot of scenes that I really loved with you know everyone that was in the game but I think the one that really told me gave me some real insight into Mary Beth was actually with Karen Joe and it was when they arrive in Valentine and they're gonna go explore, and Mary Beth, and Mary Beth is just like, oh my God, we're in Valentine, it's so romantic. She just goes <laughs> off about how amazing this place is gonna be, and it's like, and Karen's like, this is a gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and, and it's just like, you know, Mary Beth's coping mechanism is to romanticize, you know, and to find the hope and beauty in these things mm -hmm. that are really just like really hard times. Yeah, yeah. And she, she's very introspective, and she kind of, goes into her fantasy world in order to like make the situation that she's in better. Yeah. And I feel like she gives that to other characters along the way a lot. Definitely Tilly. Yeah, definitely Tilly. Yeah. I mean, even scenes with Karen, even even though if, it, regardless of how Karen mm -hmm, takes mm -hmm. them, 
And I definitely think she cowers a lot to Susan. But that specific scene, I was like, oh, I get her. I always thought, you know, because she says all these things like, oh, silly romance novels, and she really downplays and diminishes yeah. kind of what she's doing. But in that moment, I was like, no, this is her whole world. You yeah. know, she has this really. And she's that creative spirit. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, she, yeah, yeah, and that's why I was like. She's a dreamer. <laughs> you know, yeah. when they could, told me her ending, I was just like, ah, ah, ah. I think so <laughs> vindicated. I was like, yeah, she gets her dream. And it was beautiful. As fun as it was to work with you, and I just loved getting to work you with you. You wanted to slap me around more? Uh, a little bit. Okay. We'll, slap you around more. we'll get to that. It was I think, only me. Uh, uh, I really gave you the business. No, but I, yeah. I knocked no, her she off really, her ass. Oh, she really oh, pushes yeah, me out of the way I, to I get on the her right house, on her yeah. ass. Um, that, was a good, that was a great scene. Yeah. That was about vanity. Yeah. And, oh. I, you know, and, and that that scene in particular, you know, there were always these things where you were trying to give Susan a chance yeah. and say things are not so bad mm -hmm. and love is real. And um, and I think for Susan, it was just, um, she, she so much felt that things had changed for her. And, you know, she couldn't afford to look, look at that kind of hope. Yeah. Um, and then also I think, you know, Susan's dealing with the fact that she has sort of aged out of that position yeah. in the camp of getting the attention from the men. And so I think she she's, she thinks that she's giving Mary Beth valuable advice, saying find something besides sure. the way you look. But of course, it comes out in this jealous tirade, um, which would be so hard <laughs> because, because I adore you. Oh, I love you. I mean, hope is very painful. Hope is a painful, um, you know, yeah. thing to hold yeah. on to, and I think that shows a lot throughout the game. You know, in terms of what you were talking about with Karen's scene and her saying she didn't break the rules; it was love. I mean, there's like these yeah. slivers, these go these gorgeous, beautiful moments where each of the characters kind of talk about hope, yeah. and it's like, oh, it's like a dagger in your heart because you know, if you <laughs> finish the game, you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. I, I had I had this incredible experience. Um, um, I was put on the phone with this um, with this vet who um, a veteran who actually um, works for the company that they um, they try to overcome depression and loneliness in vets uh, through gaming. Oh yeah, I know yes. that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I can't I can't think of uh, what with they're called Brenton? right now. But, uh, no, 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 no. They like when when vets they'll they'll supply consoles. Sometimes yeah. they'll allow, they'll pay for them to go to conventions. It's that a way for them so to cool. kind of assimilate back into regular life. That yeah, we were talking about doing charity work for them. Oh, kind of like right. the first year that's we right. came we out. Were. I forget what the name of it is. Yeah, me too. But yeah. I'm going to put it in the show notes, so anyone sure. watching will yeah, put it in yeah. the show notes. Um, but he was just a huge fan of our game, mm. and he was saying how it reminded him, and now I feel emotional, but of, of what you go out and fight for when you have a home to come home to, mm -hmm. and how coming home to the camp and really spending time with the people that are your family reminds you of why you're going out on yeah. these other Absolutely. missions. Absolutely. Like, and, and having a place to come home to. Yeah. Um, Isn't it crazy that we get all of these experiences out of a video game? Like yeah. truly, like, you know, that somebody would have that experience. It, yeah, from a video game. And be that and viscerally just, attached to it. Yeah, it's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It, and I was not expecting that at all. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting for, for that kind of emotional attachment sure. from the fans. Um, okay, so let's do a little just sort of technical. People, there's there's a lot of discussion about the difference between voice acting and performance capture. <laughs> so, um, Joe, how would you describe performance capture to someone who was asking? <laughs> the way Tony used to describe it, he'd be like, you know, Avatar with all the balls? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, done, moving on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's funny. I never heard him say yeah. that, that's hilarious. Avatar, all the balls. All the balls. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so the balls are little balls that the computers can catch, mm -hmm. so that your all of your movement can be recorded. They reflect the light, like all of the lights, and that's what they pick right. up the movement. Yeah. yeah, right. And so I personally found it to be a, an incredibly freeing way to play scenes, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Because the cameras mm -hmm. can are catch everywhere. you yes. 360. Yes. So if you think about the fact that the player can enter from anywhere, right, right, right. The cameras have to catch all the action. So unlike when you're on a um, a film set, if I go like this, well, I might have just come right out of my shot. Mm -hmm. right, but yeah. but when you're doing a video game, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So you just have all this freedom to just play, except for when we have to like touch each other. Oh, and it's oh like, Velcro. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. I'm stuck. The balls are stuck. 
Yeah. The hugging. Oh. Hugging is oh, a hazard. Kissing. Hugging. kissing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Dancing. I, I thought I found dancing to be difficult too. I was like, yeah. this is not what it's supposed to be. Yeah. <laughs> but the balls on the knuckles, I was like, I never got used to that. Oh, and every time we had to go Ever. to the bathroom. Go, oh, every terrible. time oh, yeah. you have to pee, oh, yep. you have to lower your mocap suit, the Velcro sticks oh, to your, your gloves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Serious job hazard. Different for women than it is for men. Very it was easier. They for need the men. to fix yeah. that. They need to fix that. The men could just do it. Like a butt flap. Yeah, we need a little. Yeah. 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 A little Did you gateway. Like how it was shot. I thought, like. Rod directing us and other amazing directors that we had like yeah. did a great job. I mean, obviously Rod looks he has so much experience, but yeah. like the people that were coming on that were like, oh, like that were theater directors like Wendy, mm -hmm, for instance, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. just like working in that world, and it ended up going so smoothly all the time. I was like, oh, okay, like we'll figure this out. You right. Know? Yeah. And, yeah. There were things you had to look out for, like if you walk there, you're in a tent. Oh. Right, or stepping on a horse or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm okay. on a horse, but I'm in the horse. <laughs> like. Right, that's one of the things people ask, is that everything is a scale approximation of what it is. Yeah. So people would say, like, if you're climbing on a horse, it is a structure built to the scale yes. of, of a horse. And they were hard. huge. Yeah, they were yeah. huge. The yeah. horses that were built were huge. It was fun, though. Oh, God. Were you guys on set the day that the dog was in the mocap suit? Oh, no. yes. yes! Yes! Oh, I'm sorry. I got Einstein. a whole day of dog Einstein. work. Einstein. Einstein. Yeah. I had a whole day of dog work. So what does that mean? Really? They, they needed a female person, and they knew that I was a huge dog lover. <laughs> right. So I actually got to come in, not playing Susan, but just act with dogs all day. Wow. And it was maybe, maybe my favorite day. Wow. Amazing. They were so cute. And they had like their own little space in the back, and it was like, oh. Mm -hmm. Like, don't touch him. Yeah. And, yeah, and they'd be like, now he's just, just lying like next diva. to your chair. And you're petting him next to your chair. <laughs> yeah. And now his chin is on your lap, oh and you're petting God, him. And now you're amazing. scolding him. And I was like, I won't. Oh, <laughs> I will not. <laughs> I am not Susan Grimshaw right now, and I am not scolding anybody. It's not my contract. <laughs> yeah, you're like, that dog's not going to understand that this is a scene. <laughs> right, yeah, right. It's going to hate me if I yell at it. Exactly. That's really funny. I thought one of the most freeing aspects of it was, um, and this is, I think, really unusual for an actress. So normally when we work, we have something that is called going through the works, mm -hmm. right? So what that means is that you get your hair and your makeup done, and then you'll go to your trailer and you'll put on your costume. And I always use that experience and that time mm -hmm. to sort of find my character a little bit through these externals. Mm -hmm. Sure. Outside so. In. For you guys, what did it feel like to be completely stripped down, right? On your first day, you can't wear any makeup at all, yeah. right? Because they have to capture your face clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That um, was like the best part. Yeah, you didn't have to I do I was anything. like, oh like, my God, exactly. Come. I'm like, this is... Yeah. Because I never wear makeup when I'm on camera. <laughs> mm -mm. So it was a departure. This is all, this is all natural face. Um, we get into this This is beat. tattooed on yeah, me. Yeah, woke up like this. Um, no, I think that I love that. I loved that. There was no expectation. There was no one. I have had the experience on set of showing up, you know, natural so that hair and makeup can do their thing and then walking out and people being like, oh my God, you look so beautiful and mm -hmm. this and that. And that always feels a little bit like, ooh. Mm -hmm. And so there was none of that. It was like, you got to see people how they really are. Yep. The guys were on the same level as the women. Yep. Yes. And it was amazing. Like, to me, I was like, it me, <laughs> showing up, doing me. And it was just like, I, I loved it. But I, I agree that makeup and hair and costume really does help you get into character. Definitely. They did have sort of a solve for that, right? Like, there were screens that gave us an indication of costume and the world and the environment that sort we were of. in. Very, very, I very mean, base. Literally, like, question very, myself. very base. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I know, question yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, the right, Joker right. outfit. I was like, what? <laughs> Once just with them. But you could have an indication of what you would be wearing, so you would feel like you knew kind of how to move in that. You could see yeah. a little bit of how to move in that. At in least that's how I felt. In the beginning, there, there wasn't any of yeah. that. Like, they didn't see any screams. But I also, I also was just like, because you did have that prep of costume and, and makeup and stuff, because we didn't have it, it just made me feel more real yeah. as an actor in the room. Like, I couldn't... It was just me, you know what I mean? Like there yeah. was no like I'm walking to the, to the the yeah. space, but it, it wasn't like let me prep in the hallway. It was just like oh we gotta go. Okay cool, let me put my taco down and let me go. <laughs> like that's how it was. And so when I got in there, it was just like, oh I have to do the work, you know what I mean? Like yes. nothing is is able to help me but me. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, and, and the costumes yeah. like not only fuel yourself from outside in, but it also the way that you can use them to project onto other people. It's like, oh yeah, I'm showing you I am this thing, and I have this thing to back it up, not only for myself but for you as mm -hmm. well. And you didn't have that either, mm -mm. so it's like you really have to own and start and also figure out along the way mm -hmm. who this person is mm -hmm. and grow into them. Yep. Yes. Entirely from yourself. Yep. In some ways, it reminded me of theater. You know, yeah. right? Like when you're going through a rehearsal process. I, I never like wear makeup or do my yeah. hair. I'm no. always in sweatpants, right? Until we start getting yeah. closer and I start sort of needing those externals. Um, so in that way, but, but what you just said is really true is that I didn't know who Susan was when I started. Yeah. Right. As she, I don't think the writers knew who she was. I think it developed, right? Like we're all learning these characters. So if we had started with the externals, I, I think mm. that you're more locked in, yeah. right? You're more locked mm -hmm. into who she was. And we didn't Unless know what our characters were going to look like right. either. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was doing well, ADR when I had a version of Karen up just to confuse me that was like Orlando Bloom. And I was like, oh, that's what I was doing. That's <laughs> I think yeah. I saw that. I think I saw that. I think, I, was, I think they were like, that was Karen. And I was like, what? <laughs> um, I had no idea what Susan was going to look like. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Me knew Susan. what she was going to look like. She was like, Hi, <laughs> this it, is Tilly Jackson. Me, yeah. My face. Well, I, yeah, I don't think it, yes. When they revealed it, I was like, wait, <laughs> did I sign off on you to use my face? Like, and you did. Yeah. Sis, and you we did, did a whole yeah. scan of your head when you first came in here. So yeah, this is your sixth time here, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do people ever recognize you on the street because you, no. you look so much like your character? I do, but I don't. Yes, yeah, she's not as pretty as you are. I mean, not to like. Tilly is always like very sweaty. <laughs> she's sweaty. Any, anytime I get like a so picture, only at the she's gym. like, like lost me. <laughs> and I'm like dewy skin, perfect, but like, what is going on, sis? Do you remember she's for a while she like had that. the hair? I loved that yeah, outfit. And she looked like Frida yeah. Kahlo for a long time. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, with the whole, with, yeah. and I had a unibrow, and I was like, yes. Wait, I don't remember the unibrow. Oh yeah, yeah I remember that. You had oh, a, yeah. like a Frida? Yeah, it was. I looked like Frida. <laughs> With puffs and a unibrow, and I don't like, remember this the is unibrow, amazing. But I love this totally is amazing. Yeah, I love the puffs. Yeah, I, oh, had the puffs. I love the puffs. But she looked really young. Uh huh. And it wasn't gonna read well. If she I was could like not that tell how like old my character was. Eight. Tilly looked eight Tilly, with Tilly the puffs. Did look eight. It was like you got to really? change this. Good thing they made her not a prostitute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Uh, too okay. much. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, there were, I think because the characters developed, I didn't know how old Susan was. I really didn't. And then when you first see her in Coulter, so when I mm -hmm. first played the game, she's, she's really, she does, she withers in the cold. She really, <laughs> she really looks like, I was like, that's me. Yeah, she like she looks a hundred yeah. and she's yeah. wearing that big <laughs> animal hard. fur. Yeah, I don't know. She, what, did. she ran out of her hair color. I don't know what was happening there, but, um. <laughs> But I, you know, I really didn't know how old she was yeah. or, mm. or that kind of mm. stuff. And then, did you guys have to go back and reshoot or re-record anything because your character had? I mm. did. Yeah. So tell me about that. Um, it was just a different, like, intentions behind what she was saying, and I feel like that was again indicative of who they kind of wrote her to become and mm. potentially what her future was in the game, and wanting to keep that trajectory really smooth and fluid. Mm. And so I went into ADR and I, you know, was there doing scenes that were perfect the first time. Of course. They and, were. Um, you know, and, and just having to redo it, the dialogue still remained the same, right, right. but the intention was different yeah. and the way that the conversation went was different. And mm -hmm. I found that to be, I, I think it's fascinating. Like all of that fascinates me. And I was like, oh, this is really cool that they actually kind of course corrected. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they cared enough. Or they like realized, like, wait a second, she had that scene, and this is not what it was. Yeah. We need her to come back in. And that happened on set sometimes too. I remember we did one scene, and it was like we were taking it like really serious. We were like having like a. And Rod came in, and he was like, they're just having a laugh. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, Tears, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it's it one off. of those things where you're like, oh, and it's because the game, there's so much in the game. Yeah that sometimes it's just a glimpse of a conversation, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's not it's not as weighted as we feel it is because we right. feel like we know the circumstances. It's right. like, no, they're just real people living their life, right. having a laugh. And you're like, that makes so much sense. Yeah, yeah, as actors, I think we get a scene and we want to like, we want to act play that yeah. scene. Um, but sometimes we are just adding color to the camp. So yep. Yeah. Feels, so we're just people having a laugh or, Washing a dish or mm -hmm. um, me, Dirt in a sock. Or you <laughs> all washing a dish. 
uh, when, or, when I was pregnant oh, and they had oh, me do right. it. And I was like, these clothes are Dear done, Lord. okay? I, there's no more washing that Tilly needs to be doing. My knees hurt. The clothes are done. knees hurt. The clothes are done. So wait, let's just, let's just say here that you, so for people who don't know, that you actually did maybe the last year you were, yeah. you were pregnant mm -hmm. for real yeah, for with real Mason. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we are all very attached to this little boy. Yeah. Um, and Lucy too. But the, and, Lu and, and Lucy. And Lucy, yeah, and Lucy. Who, true. yes, who they're in love with each other. They have yes. their own like cross-generational <laughs> love, love, love affair. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, what's amazing about mocap is that you can still play your part because they can animate it. <laughs> Yep. Um, so yeah. Even though the walk, there's a couple of, <laughs> of of scenes in the camp where I'm like, oh, I'm waddling. Oh no. I can no, see just a little bit, and I'm like, maybe I'm just stuff. Yo, that's fans amazing. are gonna I love that. They're gonna be like, they're gonna find something. My like, your weight shifting. I'm, yeah, I'm waddling just a little bit more, and I was like, yeah, I was probably like seven months pregnant. Right wow. There, you know, I was jealous it. of the sneakers. I was jealous. Yeah, of I got the to wear footwear. sneakers. Yeah, because I couldn't. <sighs> I couldn't. No, it's I had amazing. to wear a, a bigger. Every time I came suit. in, they like went up a size in the oh, mocap suit for me. Oh, yeah. I remember there was one day actually that you couldn't get to work because you went. You were hardcore. Oh yeah, you went right up yeah. to the end. Yeah, I did. Yeah, little. Uh, it's because I'm a hard worker and I really cared about the job and I just wanted it to be perfect and so that's why. I that's totally why I did hard. It. That's why I did it. And I and it was perfect. It was. And it was perfect. <laughs> Um, they were like, don't come back after this. Yeah. <laughs> You're done. They, I think they did say that. Yeah, they, they, they were like, like, don't call me again. <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. that might be happening with all of us. <laughs> and Tilly is a wrap. <laughs> you were about to have that baby on set too. You were like, try to stop me. Yeah. I will fob my way into this building. <laughs> right. So I was like, I want the tacos. I know there's tacos today. Yeah. Oh, the you tacos were specifically Indian food. Food. my favorite too. Because that that area has like the best Indian food. Oh, the Indian food oh, was yeah. the best. Yeah, all the food was so good. Save that. I'm gonna ask Sorry, that okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Later, we're gonna talk about the excellent catering on set. Um, so let's talk about when we got to release it to the fans to the to the launch <laughs> um well what did what did that feel like for you guys i know what it felt like for me which was i have absolutely no idea what's about to happen like is this is this going to change my life and because the night before we all got together the right? wednesday before yeah. the wednesday before and it, it was on a friday what did we do we went to that we went to that party. So oh, everybody yes. was there. Yeah, it was yeah. so much fun. And, and it was they, the first was time amazing. we were allowed to be in the same room. Yeah, and yeah. they were kind of yeah. trying to like prep us, like get ready. Yeah, get ready. And we're just like, okay, yeah, <laughs> get ready for what? Like, what does it mean? They're like, just get, get ready. Because yeah. like, okay, it's like global. make your Instagram. It's yeah. global. It's international. Your Twitter. Well, okay. and then they sent us the artwork of our characters. Oh, to oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah, cool. Yeah. That, was that cool, for yeah. me was yeah. like Christmas yeah. morning times a thousand. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's Susan, and mm -hmm. here's her like yeah. sort of catchphrase. Yeah. And, and then the billboards were everywhere. 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 Like we, I was out to, out in L.A. for a second the day uh, the the day it released. Yeah. And you, you were out me, there right? too somewhere, and I was like, it was everywhere in L.A. And as soon yeah. as I got back to New York, it was everywhere, everywhere. in New York. Yeah. Times Square. I mean, the billboard mm -hmm. in Times Square was yep. like the biggest Huge. billboard I've ever There was a full subway corridor. It was like bam, bam, everything, bam, 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 just yeah. like nonstop. Oh, but I felt like it, to me personally, it was a relief when it finally launched mm -hmm. because I'd been working in esports and gaming. I, I was mm -hmm. hosting all of these tournaments with Microsoft. And just really kind of delving into the community and making great friends out of these streamers and different people who, you know, have, their, you know, who've cut out their own little piece of the pie in the whole gaming world. And they had questions about, like, who the hell I was and where the heck I had come out of, you know, as, like, like you know, what makes you think that you can be basically a host on this show yeah. or whatever. And not that they weren't lovely about it, but it was just, like, this thing, like, who are you, you know? Yeah. yeah. And I just remember thinking, now I can finally kind of make these two worlds collide. And so it was a real relief to me to be able to be like, this is what I do. I'm yeah. an actress, and yeah. this is like a facet yeah. of acting. Yeah, exactly. But I also remember at the cast party before the game launched, you know, I, I went up to Roger and I was like, you know that there's every day in your life before this Friday? and then there's every day after, and it's not gonna be the same for you at all. I was like, your life is gonna change. And I, and again, back to like, knowing- To Roger. To Roger, yeah. Because yeah. I knew he, 
he's, you know, he's really the person that you get to play. And as attached as everyone is to our characters, I mean, they feel like they've lived his life. Yeah. Yep. You know, and yep. um, and none of that was lost on me, and I was just like, <laughs> this is gonna be bang ring for you, Betty. <laughs> you know, and it, and it's been for all of us. But yeah, I felt like I knew that going into that cast party, so it was like. Dude, I remember going to like GameStop to like buy uh, a copy like for my man at the time, and like the uh, the guy that checking me out was like, "Oh, do you have you played this game?" And I was like, "Oh, I'm, I'm actually in it," like just sort of like whatever. And he was like, "Um, what?" And I was yeah. Like, oh no, I'm like I'm like in the game or whatever. And he was like, "I'm sorry, can you explain this?" And I like sort of explained. I was like, "Yeah, I play Karen." He's like, <gasps> "Yeah." What? Mm -hmm. He like stopped mm -hmm. the whole thing. He was like, "Yo, Joe, get over here!" Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's when I started to go like, "Oh, like people yeah. really do care like deeply, fondly." He was like, "I played it twice already through," and we had just released it. Yeah, people I've, spent full wow. weekends when it came out. Doing the entire playthrough, really? like for 48 hours or 72 hours or whatever it was, just like literally hitting the ground and just going from beginning to end. And I felt like that was when people really got to know our characters. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's like, oh, I'm in the game. And it's like, okay, well, there are 1,200 characters in the game. Right. Yeah. You know, but when you're like, I'm part of the Vanderlyn gang, they're like, ah, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. you're like, oh, wow, it's, you know, it's like kind of bigger than we could have imagined. Do you remember when you sent us all that little like Instagram thing that Drake was playing it on the tour bus? Oh, yeah. oh, yes. He's a big gamer. <laughs> and we, yeah, it was like, and I was like, currently what? <laughs> Yeah, he was like what? playing it on Champagne the Champagne Poppy. Yeah, yeah. I know. I was, and I was like, well, never mind. I won't date myself. But yeah, I was Valentine like, with my woes. What's going on? What is going on? I remember there was a guy in my laundry room. Scott and I were Scott, Do my that, cute me. husband. <laughs> Do that. My cute husband was wearing a, an Outlaws for Life T-shirt, like maybe within a week or two of the launch of the game. And uh, we were coming up from the laundry room together, and my neighbor was like, "Oh man, that is the best game!" And we were in there, and he was like, "Oh, she's in it." And the guy was like, "What? Do you, what? Yeah. What? What do you mean she's in it?" And he was like, "She plays Susan Grimshaw." And my neighbor couldn't speak, like literally <laughs> couldn't speak. He just lit the room on fire. And was like, I'm out. He was like, well, I, uh, "I don't, I don't, I'm, 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 I'm honored." And I was like, "We're in the laundry room, like." Yeah. Pajamas. I'm. I'm honored. I'm honored. We're honored. I mean, it really stops people. Like you start dead. bowing and just yeah, getting yeah. really weird about it. Just like you know, outlast for like life. giving you your laundry. Yeah. Like ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, I shouldn't have to fold this. You're right. Yeah. 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 Now that Get to work. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. that was incredible. Yeah. And 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 then seeing the fan response on social media, I was unprepared because I really joined social media in order to. Uh, have fan engagement. I was not, you know, you guys helped me with all that. I, ha I I thought that wasn't something I was interested in. And then I was really warned that it would be uh, a mixed bag, that I would mm. see a lot of viciousness and a lot of nastiness, but mm -hmm. also some great stuff. That has not been my experience at all. No. Why do you think that is? Why, why has it been so positive? I don't no, but there has been some like. I mean, there's been a little bit of well, one, but not like. Negative. But not not Micah negative. Or negative, but like inappropriate sexual all. content. Is that what you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I get the like, occasional huh? weirdo in the DMs, which yeah. still makes me. Sh like, I'm like, wow. what? A what? Was... I like, call you. I'm like, what is that? I'm like, delete it now. <laughs> delete it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't click. Don't reveal. press the link. <laughs> Only fans. Don't, don't press the link. <laughs> But I do feel like overwhelmingly our fans are so respectful, so yeah. supportive, yeah. yeah, so consistently involved um, in responding to what we do, yeah. and um, and and I will tell you, which has really surprised me, how much of the fan base are made up of women. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Did I that, love getting the fan mail from the girls too. Yeah. Like, it's just so great to know like yeah. they're out there caring, about, supporting us, and we're supporting them, and you know, it's yeah. changing so quickly. It is, again, I feel like it wouldn't have happened if we would have kept the same narrative. Oh, absolutely mm -hmm. not. I think of the women in the camp being working girls and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Like, I feel like women have more of a, a, a reach or a grasp on us because yeah. we're not just all the same thing. I never thought about yeah, that, Mia, yeah. but you are so, that, that is like so they, true. They can, because they, they can relate to you. They can relate to, you know what I mean? Like, they've all, they have a mother that's been like, you know what I mean? It's yes. just like, 
they have more of a respect for us because of who that we are right. in the game for them. I, yeah. I was at a Comic Con in London and I met, first of all, I met a lot of mothers. That surprised me that play the game when their oh, kids are asleep. Really? Yes. Hmm. Yes, you know the, do you know that the average <laughs> age of female gamers is 36? That is the average age I'm of female gamers. I'm not surprised. I was I really gamed, surprised. I, was, I had played video games growing up. You did? Oh, yeah. Yes. What, I played like, a lot of video games. <laughs> Mortal Kombat was like my I game. played Super Street Nintendo, Fighter too. Nintendo 64, like, I, and, and a lot of like weird Sega. cutty titles and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I never had a Sega. Oh, dude, it was the best. So jealous. Sonic the Hedgehog. What? Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. I remember, the, I remember the animated, like the cartoon, but I never played Sonic. All the fighting. Why did I like the yeah, fighting Yeah, all the fighting. So much. They're like arcade games. Why too, did you like the fighting games <laughs> so <laughs> I much? I don't know. I'm not sure. Have you met my friend Joe Armour? <laughs> I don't know why she would make a, a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> a little competitive. I'll tell you. <laughs> Um, well, I was really surprised by that. Yeah, and I yeah. remember meeting a woman who said that she was changing her grad thesis based on the women in our wow. game. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? I want to read it. Remember that Where woman that won an award when we were at the New York uh, Gamer Awards and that yes. insanely gorgeous... Oh, she Jade, was... Jade Raymond Thank is you. her name. Thank yes. you. Yes. Jade she Raymond. got up there. Her, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. And she got up there. She won an award for being like, the best is baddest bitch around or something. I don't even <laughs> yeah, know what something. the award was yeah, for, yeah. but I was like, give her all the awards. Yeah. And she got up there and I was like, that's incredible. And I also, I just think gamers have, I think we have an idea of what it means to be a gamer. Yeah. And it's so, yeah. it's so yep. part of the culture now. It's not this like outsider view of some dude in a basement living in his, it's like, that is that's such an antiquated language. view yeah. of what yeah. a gamer is. Yeah. And, uh, and so it, it's kind of surprising, but then it's also not surprising because gaming influences culture and fashion and all of these things right now yeah. and I think it's a really cool time to like yeah. be able to come out and be like yeah I game I like to game it's like it's awesome it's like yeah all of these people that maybe felt a certain way about saying it before don't feel that way anymore yeah, yeah. I actually remember and I wasn't planning on talking about this but I remember shooting a scene with with Rod, mm -hmm. our director, incredible director, and he was really directing me to have Susan be, you know, cranky and angry and bossy in particular, bossy, yeah. really bossy. And I did it, and he was just sort of like, you know, giving that look he would give mm -hmm. where he's really trying to decide if it worked or didn't work or what he wants. And I was like, what, what? I did exactly what you told me. And he said, you did. You did exactly what I said, but I'm starting to worry that men from 18 to 25 are gonna fucking hate your character. Mm. You know, there was a moment where he knew he was taking a risk mm. by letting like a, yeah. a middle-aged bossy woman be a main character. But I think that he had this broader understanding that that wasn't our only base. Yeah. 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 You know, that, you know, that, that, that people of all ages and all genders and mm -hmm. all, you know, it's just that everybody is a gamer and that yeah. everybody deserves to see someone who reminds them of themselves mm -hmm. and who might act like they mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I thought that was, yeah. it was really revelatory for me and I'm so grateful that they took a chance and, and, and let us develop those characters in such authentic ways. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I remember like fighting with Ra a little bit. And oh yeah? Like, oh, you're like, brave. No, no, Karen's like, considers herself one of the guys and she wants to go on this mission because he was like why are you being so you're giving uh roger so much attitude arthur so much attitude and uh -huh. i was like because they're like she thinks she's one of his best friends I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you know and he was like eh, let's try it this way and i was like of course you know but right. in my mind i was like no, no no this is what she thinks and then because of that all these other scenes with Arthur started to make so much more sense and I think he really got on board with that. I mean, it was such a relief to feel like I was heard too and yeah. have him go, yeah, yeah okay, yeah. cool, let's try that then. And you know, he's always been so smart at flipping it or yeah. saying, oh, let's just throw it away or whatever it is. It always felt like a full collaboration. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It always yeah. felt with like every a full director collaboration. As well. That's a great way to put it. And, yeah. and because, you know, and because, you know, we knew these characters from from their inception pretty much you know i felt like i always got the respect of knowing the character as well as anyone else mm -hmm. right that. right right you yeah. know 
Yeah, it is rare. Wild, though, like you're rare. informing the writing as much yeah. as the writing is informing the character. Yeah. Yeah. And they're almost synonymous and you can kind of take that journey together. Which happens yeah. on TV shows, right? Yes. Yeah. It happens yeah, on true. TV shows all the yes. time. You'll get a TV show and they'll think that they're writing, you know, a certain character. And then as you work with them, they're like, oh, shoot. Mia has a little bit of this. I'm gonna write a little bit of that yeah. into the character, and they kind of just kind of like really work in tandem. Mm -hmm. That's Which, why I think they made Tilly pregnant at the end because I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Osmosis Jones. <laughs> yeah, maybe they took a hint. They're maybe. like, she realized pregnant. it wasn't because of me. This I asked. Really and he was like, he was like, we no, that love was... you. <laughs> <laughs> did you really? That's a big storyline yeah, like, commitment. Wait, 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 and doesn't she marry a lawyer? No. She married. <laughs> yes, somebody. and they didn't even know that. They read your diary. They've been in my emails. Yes, yeah. who's been in my yeah. emails, right? Yeah. <gasps> well, I think also the collaboration yeah. continues with the fans. I have to say, you have like serious fans yeah. that are like, you're like, it's Susan Grimshaw Saturday. And then you like, Saturday is a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Susan yeah. Saturday is, is it's fun. a hit. And it's yeah. like 45 <laughs> posts. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, I know. They hit, and they find the perfect picture. Yeah, yeah, she's so expressive. Yeah. Like they so do, well. they do, and then they'll they'll write their own words yeah. where I, you know, they'll talk about her strength and her resilience, yep. and I think, you know, they're adding a layer of color to my character long after I've taken those boots off. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yep. right. Yeah. I'm fascinated by the cosplay. I think that has to be the highest form of flattery. Yes. Like yeah. the fact yes. that people would painstakingly go to efforts to efforts detail. To They're like, I found the barrette, the perfect barrette. I'm like, <laughs> that's amazing. Even yeah. even um, the the ducks we get. Oh yeah, Durango. Oh, oh yes, oh, we yeah. love Durango. Durango. I mean, she started creating our characters yeah. out of rubber ducks. Yeah. yeah. And I don't the understand detail. how she the detail. Yeah. They she has a like little blue pin in, and I'm like, and her like yellow, and I'm just like, oh my god. And she it. said she said that so she good. wanted to make fan art, but that she's not really a great illustrator. Yeah. she doesn't mm -hmm. know really how to draw. That's not her thing. Yep. But that she has these other creative expressions, and she did your she made you a pop. A yeah, pop. she made me a, a custom Funko I'm like, Pop, and it is outrageous. I'm like, girl, you're not a, you might not be a, you know, but an illustrator, but you're a sculptor. Exactly, exactly. Like, the way that she makes the hair and stuff, it's yeah. insane. I feel like uh, what I need is another apartment to put this stuff. <laughs> this, because I also have bought some of the art. Oh, I've wow. tried mm -hmm, to support mm -hmm. the artists who create these when they have their own online stores yeah, or yeah. ways to purchase them. And I just feel like living in New York, I don't have, yeah. like, I have this little dedicated corner, mm -hmm. but I, I want to find a way to really give it a place, the you know? Yeah. 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 You buy a couch, you toss on that Pendleton, uh, you know, Red Dead Which 2 Which is very, very blanket. warm. That's Mason's favorite. Oh, that's the, the limited really? edition yeah, blanket, favorite. and then you make a little like a my, living room for Red Dead. <laughs> my dog, my dog keeps trying to sort of snatch it, snatch that blanket. Pokey, Pokey, no. <laughs> yeah. Pokey, so. no, Pokey has everything he cannot have. My Red Dead blanket. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so as we are winding down here, I'm going to ask you each to to for the fans. Um, tell a little something that the fans need to know and might not know already about the woman to your right. So you start. Well, and, so and she's on your right. Yeah. About um, about Sam Stark. <laughs> He's like, we, don't we know each other too doing. well. <laughs> uh, what don't they know about you? Girl, you better make something up. <laughs> um... I think everyone knows this, but I'm like, Sam's got body yaddy. Nope. <laughs> oh, I, I am a fan of Sam Strelitz. Um, Gotta let's keep see. it buttoned up in a vest. <laughs> She's very, very good on her feet. Like, sharp shooter. She can answer anything. We were just watching Your Real, and I was like, I could oh. never. I could, I could never. Yeah. You're so good. I don't think a lot of people know that, but if but they should know that. Badiati and like sharpshooter. I love you. That is your new name, Badiati Sharpshooter. <laughs> Body Adi. Uh, and Sam, what do you want to tell us about Joe? Oh gosh, go like this. So yeah, oh. the thing about Joe. <laughs> oh I can just go. I just get. I was like, what do you go for like days and days and days and days? <laughs> That's um, terrifying. No, 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 no. Uh, I know a lot about Joe. Um, she's amazing, as we all know. She has a great sense of humor, as you guys see online. Um, 
The thing, I don't think anyone would find it surprising to know this about Jo, but she has an incredible decorative eye. I have seen her whip up, like whip into shape apartments that I would walk into and be terrified to live in because I'd be like, I don't know, there's so much space and what would I, and she gets in there and she, <laughs> She will make it look like an architectural digest, you know, like tear sheet. And then on top of that, she's doing all the freaking work herself. She's like a plumber. <laughs> she has a tool belt. She has an industrial ladder in her apartment. What? Let me know when you want me to stop telling everyone about your personal life. Yeah, I'm it's like incredible. Pretty. It's I incredible. didn't know this. I feel a little oh my embarrassed gosh. that you've been to my apartment. <laughs> she like she's the person I would go to if I was. Oh, well, actually, we've had conversations about different ways to like redo my apartment oh, and yeah, she's helped you're like, so good at it you too. know put put everything in different places to make it feel larger but she's like girl if you want me to hook up you know a washer and dryer in here <laughs> you want to build a shower i will drywall the plumber, the it's crazy it's crazy and i am just like beside myself with you know like I accolades about that because i think it's an incredible thing i didn't thing. know either i yeah. need mm. you yeah, handy I need dandy you in my Joe. Life. <laughs> handy kidding. dandy Joe. Are you nicknaming everyone? I am. Catch that's, me at Home Depot. <laughs> so today's show is called Nickname the Guest. <laughs> 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 All right, Miss Joe. Um. Oh my God. So Kylie, goddamn burn off. Oh me, right. I'm on your right. So you know, I sort of have a nickname. Like I call you Vogue sometimes because Kylie has been uh, like a full-on supermodel. <laughs> And um, has been featured in uh, it was Paris Vogue, right? The yes, front, Paris yeah. Vogue. Yeah. Um, and is also, like, I mean, just, like, the way that you handle all that stu stuff so humbly, like, and you've grown into an even more shockingly beautiful woman. It's, like, it's awe-inspiring. I've always been, I've always been a little too, like, I've always been, like, nervous that I was going to over-compliment you or make, because I don't want it to feel disingenuous. Um, but, yeah, the way that you've, done those things as this like stunningly beautiful woman and then had this career where you're like which I don't think a lot of the fans know that you can scroll through her Instagram you can find it but she like rarely ever talks about this like crazy like magical modeling career but then to also at that time when I feel like it's so easy to be put in this box where you're like oh well, that's what you do you probably don't have a brain mm -hmm. you're probably not gonna do much else and then you're like oh no no by the way I'm gonna like plow through be on this show work you know what I mean like be in the hot seat of this acting world in New York and then continue to just work and work and work and it's like you know and you you have you know family members also that are you know doing that kind of stuff too but like I, I really admire your career I admire your tenacity and like everything that um that you've you stand for in my life because it's easy to be dismissed at that age when you're young and you're so beautiful and it's, yeah. you know and the things that you've I'm and crying. You're yeah. You have a lot of grace. Excuse me, please. You're very gracious. Even and, and even a mom with us. Too, on yeah. top of it all. So. Yeah. And a yeah. wife yeah. too oh. on top of it all. This woman is phenomenal, <laughs> everyone. Well, you are the best thing that happened to uh, my ego, but also <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really meaningful to me to to hear that because I'm so inspired by all of you and um, to hear that is just obviously got me a little emotional. So um, Thank anyway, you. guys. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so let me uh, talk about Miss Mia Davis a little and what fans don't know. Um, I think that anyone who follows you on social media or watches you can see that you are full of integrity and faith and that you are this yeah. terrific a mother and collaborator but, I, collaborator, but I think people don't know um, that you're a little bit of a bad girl, Ooh. right? <laughs> I would not fuck with you. <laughs> I would not fuck with you. There. <laughs> I have some there, archived. Uh, you have some stories. archived. Stop that. it. Oh, <laughs> there is bad naughty girl energy racing all through it. And I am so glad that you are on my team. Because I don't want to fight you. <laughs> <laughs> Although I would tune in. Bad, bad. I like would tune in for that kind of fight? I would lose. <laughs> and I'm tough. We'll see what happens. Although I'm a lot taller than you are. I know. Mm. I don't want to see a real fight, but I'd love to see like a competitive. Oh, like a boxing? Like when something. I can fight somebody else. Outfits. Don't look at me when you say that. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> They're not here, but I can probably. Uh, okay, I want to do something that we did not prep for, and it just occurred to me. And, um, and if we blow it, it will be totally edited out. Oh, but I just need to talk about something. 
facials. No. no. Are we gonna sing? Singing. Yes. Oh shit. We're going to. I have such oh, FOMO about that. Valentine's song. Valentine's song. Oh. Where you oh. guys all get to sing it, and I didn't even know it existed until I was playing the game, Ooh. and I was like, Did you listen to what, the lyrics? One tier. Who remembers it? So no. Tell, tell it me was like I got a girl in Valentine Valent likes to drink that something, something fancy wine. wine. She got a something da 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 da. Then, Is there a chorus we could all sing together just so that I can all really I got a girl in Valentine. She remember she's got a thing between her cra you know it's just like oh it's like, yeah it's okay really bad. It's, it's, the lyrics are really bad. So maybe I, think I that's why I don't remember it. Like, 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 blue, blue horse, blue horse, something in the Selena song. Yes. Or can we sing Country Roads? Oh yeah. What? I want that Nas song. That one? Yeah. Take me down to the old town road. Gonna ride till I can't no more. Gonna take me. Okay. I don't know. That's good. All right. I feel a little better, but not quite. Listen to the lyrics to this song. Listen to the lyrics of that song, and then let us know if you really want to sing it. Yeah, we could find it and cut back in. No, that's okay. As long as you guys know that I just felt incredibly left out. That's all. I just need you to know that. That weren't good. It was like she we had to a, sing. That I know I had to sing. Crack and that's what uh, oh yeah, like a crack between her thighs makes yeah. her money. It's it's yeah, about like, prostitution. It's about being a okay. It's about being a hooker. All right. Well, I'm gonna let go of that dream for myself. <laughs> um, okay. So what this is. <laughs> <laughs> As we're winding down here for real, um, I want to ask you each a uh, signature question that mm. I'm asking all of the guests on this podcast, which um, because gamers is all about community mm -hmm. and because as we know as actors and as women and as just humans, we can't really accomplish anything in a vacuum. Right. Um, I'd love if each of you could tell me about a time in your life or in your career when someone took a chance on you, when someone saw something special in you and uh, gave you an opportunity to shine. So who wants to start? Okay, I'll go. Um, I feel like a lot of actors have imposter syndrome, right? So you get a job and then you're like, oh my God, I don't deserve to be here, da da da. So to some extent, I feel like that every time I really book a job that I'm excited to walk on set and do, mm -hmm. I feel like, wow, thank you for whatever you saw in me that let you allowed me to get this opportunity and really do it some justice. And any time that that person has been collaborative and respected my point of view about the character and my time with that character to really create, you know, an experience for the audience that like is again a collaboration as opposed to just like telling me exactly what to do and you know technical and whatever that I really really appreciate. But I will say that I never thought I was going to do any amount of hosting. I really had kind of like a chip on my shoulder about what that would look like. And for the people over at Microsoft that gave me a chance to do that, I am forever grateful because it's opened up so many incredible opportunities. And for them to have seen that in me when I didn't really know if I saw that in myself, um, that has been kind of a game changer. Mm -hmm. That's really fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Joe? I would say like obviously my manager, he was the one who, like I had an agency out of Philly but he took me under um, his wing here in New York and that sort of all fell into place. But I ended up having new agents and new stuff and more stuff happening. And there was a casting director a while ago who gave my reel to these guys who wanted to shoot this movie and they were like cool, sent me an offer. And now because we did that film, now they're wanting to do a feature now and have me starring in it and co-producing on it and that's been like amazing because like all those things when somebody goes like just check out this actor or whatever mm -hmm. and like trust me she's awesome or you're gonna love her or this or maybe like this might be a good option who knows what that conversation was like but then those um, little things start to fall into place and all of a sudden you're like wow it is building something. Like, yeah. like obviously we have our teams yeah, your of people reputation that work for carries. us. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And you have like people that are working for you and they're submitting you and you're going in for stuff too, but then you also have your own power to if you know, if the work is there, those people will start to notice and it it feels so like it's powerful, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. to know yeah. that your hard work is yielding. That yeah, it, that something. It's, that it's not happening in a vacuum. Right. Yeah. 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 People oh, don't that forget. So you they know? don't forget. They'll see you, and you might not be right for that job, but down the line, when mm -hmm. they contact you, there is a huge sense of, I'm still doing. I'm still on the right yeah. path, and I'm still doing the thing. And yeah. Yes. What it's about amazing. you? Um, what about for you? I think the person that, I, that comes to mind is Alexa Fogel. <gasps> mm. um, 
And it's just so, to me it's so random, but it's so divine because I'm like, I haven't, I've been, she's called my agent for specific things that are for me or that she'll say like this I'm is. I'm gonna interrupt you and just say she's a casting director. Yeah, she's a, a casting director. Terrific casting yes. director yeah. here in New York um, City. We all love her. And, and she'll call and say like, I, I want her to come in for this. To the point where it's not an audition, it's an actual like, hey, let's do a chemistry read or hey, let's do a, a producer's meeting or whatever. It's it's always something and I've never, I don't, I never knew her prior, <laughs> you know what I mean? I think I auditioned once for something completely different and ever since then she's always called me into something and it's always given me the sense of like, I'm, I'm, I'm good enough for somebody to call me and know that my gift is great and that they don't have to see me go through the whole process of anything, but they know I'll bring in the work that needs to be brought in. Um, and she's been, just been fantastic. But it's just always been like, every time I get a call, they're like, yeah, Alexis has been asking about you. And I'm like, what? Oh, she is really one of the best I in the business. Her. She's been doing yeah. it forever and she knows what she's doing. She knows she what, she's, knows what doing. she's doing. So yeah, that's, that's been my person that's kind of, and she's put me in front of people that I would never have been in front of before. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And people now, like you said, they remember you. They do. And who's vouching for you. So I've always loved that she's been in my corner. I love that. I think casting yeah. directors in general need a little more credit yeah. for yeah. the Absolutely. work. That they Although need. I love my agents. I love you. 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 Shout out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so um, that actually is going to sort of be the end of our oh, cool. of our campfire interview. But no, I don't have to answer that. Uh, no way. Uh, I'm behind sorry. the cards, lady. <laughs> uh, but we are going to do what I call a little rapid fire oh. segment. Okay. Ooh. So for this campfire edition, I can't. I can't believe that nobody ate a marshmallow. I was just gonna say, oh, you did? Yeah. You did? She didn't do. Well, don't she give her do the half-eaten one. That's the one she. I'm ate. not gonna no, give her. No, no. Get oh, you me. a freshie. You deserve a oh, freshie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This well, is freshie. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, because I gotta, I gotta turn my cards. So it's all right. You can. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. I'll hold it. You can bite it. You wanna hold it? I'm probably gonna eat it. Okay, okay. So sweet. I'll hold it. Okay, so I'm going to go around this little circle. Okay. And again, I don't have to answer anything. You ladies will have to answer <laughs> these uh, rapid fire questions. They're all related to Red Dead and our time together. All the answers are Joe. Um, <laughs> all the answers are Joe. Yeah. All the correct answers are Joe. Got it. So if you want to right. win, I do. Just I always say Joe. Win. I'm going to cry, Uncle. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uncle is the wrong answer. Um, <laughs> so you just. You know, whatever comes to your mind, Oof. no more than like a sentence or two, because okay. I'll be moving on quickly. Got you. Okay. Okay. So hurry up. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, <clears throat> are we ready? Yes. Is it just like? Yeah. Or is are it you gonna? Order? It's like oh, how, how I want to do it. Okay. Like point to people with your marshmallows. <laughs> okay. so you know who you're talking to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Use it as a, as a step, as favorite a... catering meal on set. Indian. Oh, Indian. Okay, good. Uh, did you have a show crush or show crushes? Yes. And oh, yeah. spill it. I had a huge crush on Peter Blomquist. <gasps> I just thought he was so funny and so he freaking the weird man alive. and just bizarre. Loved yep. it. Yep. Okay, good. Bizarre. When you are riding a horse in game, side saddle or straddle? Side saddle. I'm a lady. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Come I like on, that. Uh, did there come a time when you developed a favorite or regular helmet color? Um, yeah, there was a lavender one that fit really well. And did you Ooh. accessorize with your socks or maybe your underwear with your helmet, like me? No, I was lucky if I wore underwear. <laughs> like more <laughs> commando. <laughs> silly, silly. Speaking silly, to the marshmallow, please. I like how she's like, I was lucky if I wore underwear. <laughs> <laughs> how? Who's in charge? I'm gonna of do the some underwear. math. I'm gonna do some math in my head about that one. <laughs> well. Okay, moving 40 on. 40 points for Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Straw, let's tell the yeah. truth about this. Oh, How long did it take you to understand that just before we shot scenes, they were saying previs and not previews? Uh, That's what I never knew. Probably <laughs> when we were, probably when we were at the new studio, the new uh, space wow. today. I didn't know. To, right today, now. today, today <laughs> is, is when you learn mm -hmm. previs, previsualization. Yeah, is pre what it stands for. I did not know yeah. that for oh, a really wow. long time. Uh, okay, when you are playing the game, how far have you gotten in story mode? What <laughs> camp or chapter? So how far have you gotten? Horseshoe. Overload. <gasps> I've gone further than 
Because I don't know how to do the controller. No, I keep getting shot. <laughs> I get murdered. My thumbs get, I don't you just, like you it. You just turn on the game and bam, you're at Horseshoe. Or I just give it to Mason and then Arthur's like going like this in a circle. I mean, he likes uh -huh. to watch it, though. So. Yes, I'm always wanted, always <laughs> murdered. Um, okay, um, character or actor you wish you had more scenes with besides me? Um, uh, Peter Blomquist. Mm, yeah, that was really, really fun. Yeah. Okay, Sam Strouds, uh, it's uh, <clears throat> six o'clock and we're going into overtime on oh, set. Is that a woohoo or an oh no? Woohoo, but I can't drink any more water because I'm going to pee. Oh, yeah, I always have mm -hmm. to pee right mm -hmm. at the end of yeah. day. Yes, but woohoo because so much fun yeah, stuff it. happens at overtime. Um, oh, back to you when you're, when you're playing the game as Arthur. Are we a, a, a high honor or a low honor? Ooh, you were asking me the perfect question. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? Yeah. <clears throat> it, I, I hope for high honor. I don't know how to play it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're hoping just that the horse goes. Like, oh. at this point. <laughs> But I have high honor, though. Okay, then how about how about clean shaven or bearded Arthur? Or bearded, bearded Ooh. Arthur is pretty hot, right? Uh, okay, and I'm going to ask this of all of you. Um, this is not Red Dead related, but oh. what advice would you give your 21 year old self? Oh my God, just run. chill. <laughs> run, girl, run! <laughs> I would probably say this is maybe a little bit too much information, but I'd say you're a good person, Sam. You don't have to be a people pleaser to prove it. And I still need to hear that. Yeah, even that's though fine. I, I'd be I'm like, tell her. I'm 21, like five years ago, but good. I still need it. Yeah. Yeah. Five years as well. Five years ago. Yeah. And how about you? Besides run. Um. <laughs> take your time. Mm. You got time. Take your time. It's okay. Yeah, there's time. Yeah, there's, there's time. time for there's all time. of it. All of it. But run. But run. <laughs> Um, oh my God, you guys! Thank you so much. Thank you. This thank has you. It's been amazingly fun. Where's my marshmallow? You ate it. You, you said you didn't want to eat it. I don't. I don't really eat marshmallows. Oh, you don't? Okay. Oh, I just wanted to give her something we didn't know about Kylie. Doesn't eat marshmallows. I'm not a big fan. If they're roasted, I like them roasted. Perfectly I like them burnt and like a smore, which I kind of thought you were having. They want to see you eat it. Do you need three? That's a weird. That's a weird thing. Who is they? <laughs> Who is the they? Who is they? The fans. Um, all right, ladies. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me today and Yay. answering all these questions. And uh, for those of you uh, who are watching, if you want to find this podcast, you can go to thegamers.com, the G A M E H E R S.com. And also, you can follow the gamers on all your socials. And uh, I guess that wraps it up. Woo! Woo! I got a girl in Valentine. I got a girl in Valentine. She does naughty things as wine. I don't know the words right now. She's got to stop talking. I'm start tearing up. The fire. Awesome. Yay. And cut.